Yeah, in that in that cruiser that has red and blue lights on it. And that's why I called him. I said, you can't do that. No. I said, yeah, your car is not illegal. Uh, I need to go talk to him. Thanks. Hi there. Yeah. All right. So you're an actual Cleveland police officer? No, no, I'm not with Cleveland PD. I work for uh, Cleveland Watchmen. We're a security company that hires only off-duty police officers to do traffic control. For, uh, are you an off-duty police officer? Yeah. Yeah. So who are you with? Uh, Pickway Sheriff's Office. Pickway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. So you're you're out of. They do. Uh, Ohio, and you're here working in Franklin County in Whitehall as an off-duty police officer. No, I'm working as a security guard. So we do. No, you're in uniform marked as a police officer. You're working as a police officer right now with a car that has red and blue lights on it. Yeah. All so right. I've got, I've got some paperwork I can give to you from. Absolutely, that, and I'll need to get your you. information. Right. I've been asked yeah. to come up here by my deputy chief and get that. Okay. Because yeah. Here you you. Um, sir, we're finished up with the work anyway, but um, they offered it, I guess, as special duty to your guys. No, they did not. Okay. That's what we were told. Not at all. Nope. Not at all. And if it gets offered to us, if we pass it, we have to give it to Franklin County. And they, they said they offered it to them and they passed too. So. No, they did not. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, that 966 Pierce is a problem house. I think there's a female family. Where's the member, car come uh, from? Comes and goes there Cleveland Watchmen, the Police company that I work for. So name. they're owned by two, it's a not for profit agency owned by two Cleveland police officers. Not bad, sir. Fifty-five. Copy at twelve. Go ahead. Henry Henry Paul seven seven four zero. Henry Henry Paul seven seven four zero. Go ahead. And just print that out for me. I'll be out here at uh, Collingwood and Broad talking to this uh, company working up here. Do you have your ID on you by chance? So I can get your information. Are you full time over in Pickway? I, I live in Pickway, so. Um, Seventy-four to one hundred five. So I left the sheriff's office there. I'm going to. Uh, I was full time there. I left full time. Uh, as a jail up there. So you're not even a police officer? Uh, currently I'm, I'm, well, I'm starting a new commission with a, a village up in um, Richland County, so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but what I'm saying is you're not even a police officer. You're currently not a full-time or a part-time police officer anywhere. Reserve. Okay, where are you a reserve officer at? So, give me a second, I'll give you the name of the village because it got hooked up through the company here that I'm working with. So. Okay, so you have an ID from that village? Not with me, no. Not with you? No. So you don't have an ID, you don't have a badge. What's the badge you were displaying earlier? Sorry? What's the badge you were displaying earlier? What do you mean? Do you have a badge? Yes. What was that the badge old. you were displaying earlier? That's my old Pickaway one. So you have a Pickway County badge, but you don't work for them? It's a previous one from there, yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you have that with you flex. currently? Yeah, it's a flex badge. Can I see that, please? Yeah. All right. So. Fifty-five to sixty-three. Why do I feel like I'm about to actually get? You yeah. end up by you guys for. Yes, I'm going to need you to stop up here, please. I'm on the KFC lot of calling one fraud. This has gotten much deeper. What are you on? Yeah, well, I talked about you earlier, that traffic detail. 
picker. So the company, the company's trying to get you a reserve commission. They already got one. They already got one. So the guy that owns the company, he's in my unit for the, for the guard, um, and then uh, another guy that's in, in my unit is chief of police, Sergeant Prober. And let me, uh, let me call John, who Oops. is the command sergeant major in my. He's also the... Okay, those are all military people, right? Yeah, but he's he's the owner of this company. He's the owner of this company. So let me call him. That's fine. Hey, John. Okay. So I'm out here in Whitehall. Five copy an OL number for me. Tom Tom nine nine five eight four five. Tom Tom nine nine five eight four five. Yeah, print that off for me. Hold it. Please, we may try to get make contact with this house. Talk to him about the vehicle. It hasn't been 24 hours yet. Coming. right at the moment. Not quite sure what you got up there, but if it's going to be like an impersonation kind of thing, we're right down the road. We can help you with that part of it. Yeah, actually, both might want to come down here to handle maybe the military end of it. Okay, we'll be down that way. He's just finishing some notes. you stop over here for me? Uh, you might be able to answer a question for me. Hi, copy. We're in route from 220. 80 to 55. Still confirmed. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know if he ran that or not, but he's got a line of duty crash from Banks County. Yeah, I know. At one point, he might have worked for somebody. Okay. I don't know what you have. Go ahead. Yeah, 
then if you would, uh, for the screen, just add this company name. This is the uh, power company that's up here. It's Matrix, uh, Mary, Adam, Tom, Robert, Ida, and then Nora, Adam, Charles. Okay, it literally just kind of did a comment screen. Do you want like a 48, 48A screen? Yeah, that'll work for now. Um, just, yeah, make up a screen and put this all day. Okay, so we're going to go Are you guys out of Pennsylvania? You guys out of PA? Uh, the company is, but we're for Okay, I, I just saw the tag. That's what I was wondering if you guys. Hey, are you out. know an Aaron Oakley? He, I think he used to be a Whitehall cop. Now he's a lineman. Aaron. I don't know if you might know him or not. No, nah, he could have been one of our auxiliaries. There, there's a ton of them. What, what's going on? I don't understand. Go ahead, He's not a police officer. You got? Who's the supervisor? He's gone. He's, he's gone, gone right here. Right he went to uh, AEP. That's his second command now. Okay. I want to say AWP hired. Did, did AWP hire you? Yes. Yeah, AWP hired. Um, so AWP or AEP? AWP. Okay. Area wide protective. Ah, okay, them. Hmm. Okay. I assume you guys may have had problems with them the way you said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the village is Glenmont, Ohio. And I was trying to call the chief just now to have him vouch for it. So, um, Hey, George. Okay, so, right all the Here, tell me what's wrong with it. It's plastic. Yeah, that's what he was displaying. And he's armed and everything. Have we taken his firearm? Not yet. See, this is who he works for. Which is, he's in the military. Yeah, but the screen printed. He's in the military. He, the guy who owns his company is his uh, commanding officer. Some uh, sergeant, first sergeant, sounds like. All right. And they got hired to do this company here, area-wide area -wide protection. He says he used to was, work. It was AWP was on one of those trucks. Yeah. Well, no, that's them. They're, they're separate. So they... So he says he now works for the village of Glenmont, Ohio. He used to work for Pickway County. I said, so you're currently not certified anywhere. And he goes, well, I'm a reserve officer. I said, give me an ID or a patch. He said, well, I don't have one because they're trying to get that to do it. So he's over there uh, with his boss, who is a military officer. All this, all these people are related to the military that work for this here, this off-duty. Where's the military guy? Well, that's who. What's up? Is he, he is. All right, real quick. So, this is what he was displaying. It's fake. <laughs> that's cool. Well, maybe that's he is, reason. He is armed. Okay. He's fully armed, acting as a police officer. He has a vest on, says police. All right. Now, he says that he worked for Pickway County Sheriff's Office, but he no longer works for them. And I said, well, let me see that badge you were displaying. He said, well, and I said, no, let me see the badge you were just displaying when I pulled up because he was showing it to Jeff Hart. So this yeah. is what I took off of him. I said, so who do you work for now? And I said, he says, well, I, I work for a, a village. I said, well, let me see your idea for them and your, our badge. He said, well, I don't have any. I said, so who? who does he work for? Well, he finally gave it to me because he had to call his boss, who is the owner, who they're all related from the military. They're all in the same military unit together, who is a 
uh, either retired or off-duty Cleveland police officer who started this. Yeah, yeah, but my question is, is, is he, he said, a police officer? Well, he's on the phone. He's trying to get a hold of his chief, chief now of this village who is the village. It's Glenmont, Ohio. But he says this, this Cleveland police officer who he works for for this company is trying to get them all reserve commissions through this village. So he's currently not a police officer anywhere. Okay, so he's not a police officer. That, yeah, yeah he him hums around about that. He won't give you a direct answer, but you finally said, you are not a police officer anyway. Well, <coughs> no, not really. I said, you're not yeah. commissioned anywhere. So. All right, so he's not a police officer. No. So if he is not a police officer and he's working for this company. Well, he, yeah, they don't know. They basically, so this area-wide protection, as soon as he said that, that's the one I dealt with before with the same exact problem. Area wide protection hired Cleveland Watchmen, which is off duty Cleveland and other officers, to a, a military group. It's a group of military people that are officers. They hired them and the, he came down. This That's why this comes back, I guess, to the company. And it's got red and blues. Well, Sorry. here's what I suggest one of, one of two options. I'll leave it to you, you're the boss out here. But I would say if, if he's working for this company and he's not a police officer, we have, we have two options. One, you could, which he can work for a company and he can regulate traffic. I know, yeah. but he worked Look, for them. He, he worked for Pickwick. What's his name? He's got uh, Casey. Cassidy, Casey Williams. Casey Williams. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's over there. You know Casey? him? Yeah, he was fired from Pickway. Oh, uh, okay. Well, he's, he's displaying their badge out here. Uh -oh. That's a made badge. That's not our badge. Right, yeah. yeah. We don't provide those and we don't approve those. Now. Yeah. So you have two options. He, if, if he wanted you to stay working, he would have to you take off. There. Yeah. This is weird, right? <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Where's our guy? We, he's, oh, there. he's over there. So he's you, armed. I, I would so say you have two options. Hi, Lieutenant. Right. How are you? I would say you could say, well, if you're going to regulate traffic, you have to oh, take wow. off anything that says police officers, and you cannot turn those lights on if they have a blue light on them. Period. Unless that law has changed, only police officers can have blue light. Okay. Or you would cite him for having the blue light and charge him with personating a police officer. Or, instead of just advising him, you could do both of those things right now if we saw him doing all this stuff that you're saying. Well, I'm I don't have an issue with Pick that. Pickway County wants to do about this, and too. If, and if we, if we charge him He's with this... Yeah, if we charge him with that crime and we cite him with that, um, and we impound that vehicle for the equipment violation, which we could also do, but we don't have to do that, um, then I'm pretty sure that's going to take care of this process in the future. Yeah. Summons him for impersonating a police officer. He's got a badge on him with a, uh, claiming to be an officer. They didn't need him hauled around, write all that up about who he is and, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, if you want to, he's out here regulating, he's out here, right, it's not impersonating. I think that's the theft defense, impersonating a police officer. Make sure, if you don't know this, Joe White, there's two different impersonators. There's one called impersonating a police officer, one called personating a police officer. One of them, I think, oh, the impersonating is under the theft section where you're doing it. Uh, I think. Well, I'm trying it's to get like it. Some kind before of we do, before some, I go that so, yeah, route, you'd have to see which one applies. I'm not sure. About before it. I go that route, I definitely want to find out if he does, if he has a commission with Village of Glenmont, the yeah. then. Then yes, right. But then, but, but either way, he's not working for them right now, so that light doesn't come on, and he displays nothing that says police. And then I'm okay with that resolution too. If that's right. where you end up. Going. But did, wouldn't he get a CCW charge too if he doesn't have a concealed carry, but, he's, but he has a home? Yes. Well, he's open carrying. Oh, he's open. It's fine. But he's in the vehicle. Um, not when I haven't seen him in the vehicle. He he was out walking around talking to Jeff Hart. Uh, well, when we saw him, he was just sitting in the vehicle. So if he had it on him. No. Then it would be a CCW. It would probably be an improper transport, right? Yeah. Because yeah. Improper handling. Yeah, improper handling, because he's got it openly displayed at least. Um, but that you're right. Yeah, that's a good vest. call. That you might have a violation on that of some sort, depending on what he's doing. But if he's out walking around with it, then we don't. Yeah. But if he's in the vehicle driving, then it's not truck secure, right? Then you have that also. All right, let me go. So, I, I'll let you decide, Brad. All right. But he might end up with at least. Security until we figure it out. Yeah. Here, give that to Brooke and for now. Okay, so I can't get a hold of the chief from Richland Township, which is Glenmont. 
Um, it's Richland Township. Yeah. So it's it's a township police department no, or it's a, it's village, a village? Village in Richland Township. Yeah. Okay. It's a village in Richland. But you have no but you have no ID from them. No, all right. No, no, and no. have you ever been sworn in by them? I've talked to the chief. No, no. So I'm asking you a direct asked. question. No. Have you been sworn in now, by this them? It's very important you answer this correctly because being a former police officer or someday a current police officer, you know if you lie in this situation, you go directly to jail. No, I'm not. So I'm going to put not, that right up. Listen, out. I'm not. So trying, if I'm you not. are telling me you are a police officer right now, is I, that what you're telling no. me? So no. you are not a commissioned police officer. I have spoke with the chief. That's not what I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking you one question. Are you a commissioned police officer through the state of Ohio? I have an OPUNA certificate. That's not what That's I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking I'm, you. I'm explaining to you. I have no, 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 you're not. You're not answering the question. You're avoiding the question. It's very simple. Are you a sworn police officer anywhere in the state that of Ohio with any department? Not currently. Okay. That's right. not the question. That, well, well, I'm oh, not I'm, currently. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. You can't be unsure. You can't be unsure. You would have to raise your hand, swear, okay. sign a form, and you would get I've talked to paperwork the on that. Okay. Hello. Talking to the chief is not enough. Uh, yeah, the chief of police is here, so. Yeah, so he's not commissioned with paperwork, so that he's not going to get back. Okay. Uh, one second. Would you be willing to speak to the supervisor from the company? From? From Watchman. From Watchman? Yes. Is he an actual police officer? You are an actual police officer, correct? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, he is. Where, where, are you, where are you commissioned at? It, it doesn't matter. He's not here doing anything. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if he's uh, the superintendent of the state highway patrol. That's irrelevant to the situation. Okay. So uh, you can talk to him if you I want, Rex, but I got no Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yeah, this is Sergeant Atkins with the Ohio Police Department. Okay. <laughs> well, the issue has is that we have a, a off-duty officer, or not an off-duty officer, a person acting as an off-duty officer uh, with a semi-marked vehicle. It's red and black and white, it doesn't have any police markings on it, but it does have red and blue lights on it that were being displayed out on one of our main thoroughfares, Broad Street, okay, with a gentleman wearing a vest that's marked police and a full duty belt with a badge that says Pickway County Sheriff's Office, stating he's working special duty here in the city of Whitehall, all right? Now the issue is, is that this company that works for AEP, they never contacted us about any special duty. All right, to work. And I know the lady at AAP, because I deal with her all the time, and she always contacts me if they have something here in Whitehall that they need special duty for. There. So, so. And I asked about this, because I did. I really did. I promise you, okay? I promise you guys 110%. I am not. And I've had this same issue with AWP before. So I'm not putting the blame totally on, on you or anything like that with the Cleveland Watchman group, but. AWP has tried this before, and then they say, well, no one wants to work. Well, that's not true, okay? We have our own special duty officers that work these traffic details, okay? And if we can't get it, we contract with the sheriff's office here locally. There. He, he is not a commission officer, actually. I have a, I have a female officer here that worked for P Pickway County that now works for us, and she said that Casey was fired from them. All right. However, he's out here in a full duty belt with a police vest with police markings on it displaying a badge that says Pickway County. 
and it's not a real badge anyway, it's a fake plastic badge that someone's had made. Oh yeah, because we're deciding now if we're what we're going to take him on, if we're going to take him. And this vehicle belongs to who? Because he says it belongs to the company. Okay. Oh, I understand that. He's not commissioned through anybody right now. He can't even tell. He says it's Richland, Richland Township. And I said, well, is it a township or is it a village? He said, well, it's a village. I said, well, it's one or the other. I said, you know, it's either a township police department, a village police department, a city police department. You, you, you tell me. And I, so we got down to the nitty gritty and we just flat asked him, are you a sworn officer with any place in the state of Ohio, any department? I don't care if it's a township, a village, a city, what? He says, well, I have a, a, a pot of certificate. I said, I didn't ask that. I said, are you a sworn police officer? And he said, no. Which doesn't matter. I haven't had a chance. Okay. What, what's your first name again? I'm sorry. There. And what's a phone number for the company or a way I can get a hold of you if I need to? No, that's all right. Just so I have a number to go for. All right. Um, yeah, well, let me talk to the other, find out what's going on here, and I will call you, give you a call back. All right. And let you know. Um, if he does. Perfectly fine. Well, here's the question that if he does end up going with us. All right. Um, what do you want to do with this vehicle? Yeah, we drove. I understand. Um, let me figure it out, call you back, and I'll let you know. Alrighty. He said they're flagmen. Yeah, but I know. There's the one that hired me. I'm going to leave it to you. Um, yeah, he no says, matter what, we're going to do a code one on it, right? Yeah, he says that, he's, I just talked to the owner of this company. He says that, that area, this area wide protection contacted them, all right, and said, we have a detail in Columbus that we can't get covered. Can you guys do it? He said, I was not aware it was in, he goes, I don't, I'm from Cleveland. I don't know your jurisdictional boundaries on it. He said, I was told it was in Columbus and they did not want it and were not available. And I explained how we do it. He says, I understand. I, pretty, I totally understand what you mean that it's in your jurisdiction yeah. and you contact the county if not. He said, he's never met this guy. He says, I've never met him. He goes, I was advised through other people that he worked for the village of Glenmont and he had a commission with them. He goes, and we hired him because he lived down there. He goes, I would never have sent, he goes, this is their car. He said, we have maintained our own fleet of cars up here because we work mostly up here in Cleveland area. He goes, I would have never sent him five hours away with one of our cars if I didn't know he wasn't a police officer. He goes, I I'm being, a, and I said, all right, I understand that. All right, well, he's getting hold of the chief of that department. So we'll verify there that he's not that one, and he's not that one, obviously. So I'm okay with whichever route you go with, it, and he doesn't have a CCW. So I'm okay if, if you want to write it and then just put a stop to it, or if you want to charge him, I don't, I don't care what. All right. 55, you good if we clear them? Um, yeah. What's this? You need me any more Rex? No. No thanks. What's his? Uh,
Did you contact Tickway? I did. I talked contact Lieutenant. All right. What was their uh, take on it? What did they? He said absolutely not. He's left a while. He left before I left because he was under investigation and he was going to be dismissed. So he chose to quit before that investigation ended. Did they get all their badges back? Yes. That's a made one. I know. and But that's what I'm saying because when I initially asked him, he said he had a Pickway County badge. That one. Well, and that's when I, yeah, when we I require, said show me. Yeah, it has to be checked off. When you leave, you have to turn in your ID. Okay, and I your just want to make sure. So, yes, I want to make sure he it. does not have anything else on him. No, though. so he probably, when he, because he worked in the jail, he never worked the road. So when he worked in the jail, our deputies still get the deputy badges. So he probably scanned, because that looks like it's just a sticker. So he probably yeah. scanned that, had that pre made before he left, turned in all his stuff, and then left. Which lieutenant's requesting a copy of the report as well, um, because. <laughs> Off that he's represent Pickway County. I understand. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys are good. Then. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. This captain's supposed to call me back from Belmont or wherever. From Glenmont. 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 Yeah. Okay. He's supposed to call me back. Just so I can verify that. I just need yeah. to narrow it down. So. If we, if he's not, then that answers that. Before you make any decisions here. Give me one, one minute. We're going to verify one more thing with, uh, all right, and then I, I will let you know. Yeah, if you just want to hang out by the car, that'd be great. Um, he, I did get him to verify that he did have the gun on him while he was in the cruiser. So it, it's up to you what you want to do. I'm still going to take a report on it so I can send it to pick away. But yeah. it's really up to you what you what you want to do with that. Uh, I think we're going to, I think we've kind of ruined his career anywhere because this company's going to fire him anyway. I just talked to the owner. They're like, he's like, no, no, no. We were not aware of that. No, no, no. And I said, well, what do you want to do with this car? And he said, well, we'll have to send people down there if he gets arrested. So I told him I'd call him back. Um, well, I even told him, I was like, I was like, if you would have been up front with us from the get-go, I was like, we would be more willing to work with you. I was like, but you, it took my deputy chief to get in your face for you even, for you even to say anything. Yeah. And so he was like, yeah, well, I started yesterday. I was like, they could have written a memo. And you could have just been in a private capacity. I'm like, what made you put on the badge? I said, you didn't have to put on the badge. You could have had your gun readily available, and you could have had handcuffs. I was like, but the thing is, the only thing you could do is citizen's arrest. Hey, Casey, when were, when were you uh, sworn in at Glenmont? So, he's not. He's not. He's never been sworn in. So, so I talked to the chief. He was supposed to take care of it. So sure you talked to the chief tonight? Chief Proper? No, I was just trying to call him. You were just trying to call him? For what? Do you have his phone number? Yeah, so your time. Under interrupted okay. to explain exactly what. Yeah, one, one second. So he's saying he should be. When was this supposed to happen if it didn't happen now? I was supposed to be this week to, to finish everything. Paperwork and everything. Where was it? We'll go back. In. I was told. I have, I have the chief's word, I, and I went on uh, man's word. That's what he said. You don't have any documentation. You see the issue. You, 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 no, I do, and that's why I'm, I'm trying my best to call the chief. I can't get a hold of him. We're not exactly in his business to just you know, no, no, I understand. let people come out here and say they we're all the same, one team, one fight, right? You're yeah, not we named it because he doesn't have a CCW from there, right? Yeah. And then he was riding the vehicle. Like that might yeah. So, yeah, I, gonna that's where we're at, Cap. I appreciate it. I just wanted to... Nail it down for my report. Williams. C A S E Y. Hello. Last name Williams. And he said he was told by. Hello. Yeah. But originally he was uh, I'm sworn in with you guys. They're calling, they're calling Prober, which is the guy that. Uh, a staff sergeant from the bar that. Let me, ball. let me go grab my That's car. Sergeant Major Ball. Okay. Do you guys have more work you're going to be doing on Broad Street today? On the road here? No, we're not that we're aware of. with this job, I believe. Well, we don't know if we're going to be on this road or where we're going to be. Yeah, we get, we're getting, okay. He's getting our, our next, boss is getting us a new work back right now, so I don't know exactly where it will be, but I'm sure we're not going to be on 
We're not gonna have him today. Probably not. Oh. Definitely, I can say no. Definitely not. Oh. Jail, but I'm definitely going to take him in and summon him probably. All right. Unless we did we get any information? Unless Glenmont says that he has a Glenmont. The captain said he's going to text the chief. He said that is a, a number to the chief. He says, but it's like one and two. It'd be like the chief at one of the deputy chiefs. He was like, no. He's like, I've never even heard of him. Well, here's the. Thing. He was like, he may be, he said he may very well be in process and maybe, a, you know, somebody knew him, recommended him. Well, you he, know, he he's said in the he's guard with the chief, is what it sounds like. So with the, the chief himself? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like the chief of this PD is his sergeant in the guard. Okay. So. But well, you should still understand he's not the police. And that's he's been commissioned as a police. Well, officer. and he, the, the only thing that, that ruined it for him was probably that Pickway County badge. Because when he displayed that to Jeff Hart and all that, and he was wearing around his neck, sorry. All right. You knew you didn't work for Pickway. You got fired. They took everything. You turned everything back in. All right. So, yeah. we can, um, yeah. I think Wait. it's uh, an impersonation, my opinion, but. And we'll park his car. I'll call the owner of the company back and tell them they can come pick up their cruiser. And is the, is the company still all the way in Cleveland? Yeah. So he drove all the way to Cleveland because no. he lives in Asheville, or does he live up that way? I don't know how he got the car, but he's, the guy said, the, guy, the company owner said, yes, I would not have sent a guy you know, five hour round trip with one of our cars. So he must have drove to Cleveland at some point, picked up one of their cars on a five hour trip to come down here. He goes, he goes, I was told by area wide protection that this was a Columbus detail and Columbus didn't want it. Yeah, and that's fine. But at some point in time, where he goes, he's never met this guy. Yeah, but how did they, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, how they verify people's commission? Well, that's the problem. It sounds like they're they're not exactly. Yeah, because then they just say, hey, you can't have red and blue lights. Well, up in Cleveland, Cleveland, he sounds. This guy, the owner of the company, works for Cleveland. He says we mostly work around here in Cleveland, which I can't believe Cleveland P, P officers are happy with that, are happy with one of their own starting a company and undercutting their special duty. But that's what it sounds like they did. They may not have the ability to cover it. That, that, either. that could be. But he hires nothing but off to the office. Now he may hire. Well, he may hire. I mean, they had that that FBI thing that stepped in there a little while. Yeah, and they may and they may have hired like townships and villages around Cleveland. I found a good paying job, and I was told by the guys 
It's like, hey, we'll take care of a commission. We'll get it taken care of. It's no big deal. I come out here. Yeah, I was told, hey, you can start. Make some money. That's all I was trying to do. Please do not. I'm, I'm asking you for courtesy, man to man. Please do well, not ruin my career. Please, please, please. I okay. think I think you did that kind of on your own, Casey. Please. All right. Um, the Pickway County. You knew you didn't work for Pickway County. You displayed that badge. All right. You're out here acting in a law enforcement capacity, displaying a badge that you have no right to have, or a facsimile of a badge. That's not even a real badge. Yeah. You were aware of that. Yeah. Okay. It's not, it's not real. Okay. So, all right. You're going to be charged. Oh, seriously. I'm serious. Okay. Now we're going to be nice about this. Okay. And we're going to take you over and you can take your gun belt off and you can set it on the hood of that car okay um and we're going to take you in we will not we don't have to handcuff you this officer is going to pat you down all right and we'll let you out all right on a summons all right now are we too far for me to we, we, yeah we're, we're yeah get where listen okay completely deceptive here's the problem here here's you don't understand that right now we can charge you for improperly handling in a vehicle, I can charge you for impersonating a police officer. All right, I, there's tons of charges. What are you charging? Here, well, probably the impersonation of a police officer. So, so All the right. best thing to do that, right now sorry. is to just take off the belt. And I'm, I'm All right, so let's step over here and take care of that first. Smith, right here, right here. Right. Take off the belt, and then I'm going to search. You don't have anything else on you, do you? No. All right, no, 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 don't, don't reach in. All right, right. you, you yeah. should know the drill. get a chance I'm gonna call the owner of the company you mean the guy I spoke with I'm gonna to talk to him he gave me his number said to call him back okay. all right which which one the one that you talked to on the phone on George phone? yeah no the owner is John Ball well George is is who I'm gonna call back because okay. he's the one in... he's just the supervisor okay John is the John's the one that talked to Sergeant Cooper who was supposed to help me but you never talked to Sergeant Cooper I did I did talk to Sergeant Cooper yes a whistle. A whistle around the neck. Yeah. Ooh, we'll this oh gun belt. We're just going to lock this oh, yeah. up so he can't take it. Yeah, we'll just take that in. And... Can we discuss another charge at least? Like the... Where are the keys to this car? Where's the, where's the keys to this car? Is it with your regular keys? Is it with your regular? Yeah, they're on my regular. Do you okay. have a you have a property back? Um I don't there might be one in the back of that. magazines on your seat just because I have literally zero storage and he's in my seat that I put stuff in and I'm in the passenger seat. No problem. Um, we'll see if he wants his stuff out of this car because I think the company's going to probably come back down here and get this. Okay. Guess she wants to stand by for property. Is that what it sounded like to you? 
Yeah, that's right. And she wants us to make sure that we're watching for her coming in. Not sure if the family's going to follow her. Fifty-five to radio. Yeah, cop part of that traffic data. Is that the one over on uh, Fountain Lane? Yes, sir. All right. Yep, 55 to L74. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, that was at uh, Code 3 from yesterday, here where they went up to New Albany to locate. They had uh, all the handguns. I believe it was part of the agreement, or they were going to make an agreement with the uh, protection order that he surrender those, or they, they collect them from the apartment. That may be what it's about. Hey, is the trunk button in the okay. glove box there? 74 radio, when she shows up, you can just, uh, I don't, I'm not aware of anything special that needs to go on. You can just have an officer handle that as normal. It's been a while since I've been in the car. I'm just going to take all of this. Yeah, take care. Oh my god. Alright. And it's loaded, right? Okay, we're not going to... Yeah. Take all his stuff and you can throw it in my car. I'll put it in the back of yours. I'm just throwing everything in the back. Hey, I think you're just going to have to go the full course. Yeah, that's what I said. I think it's close to five long. Yeah, it's beyond that. I'm going to go ahead and park this here. I'll call the company. They can come get it. I'll lock it up. Here's his keys. Yeah, go ahead and take him in. Do an uh, interview on him. Mirandize him. Do an interview. Basically, same questions you were asking. I'd rather not. Uh, you got it. No, but here's not that. Here's what I was said. Why don't we have this towed to our lot? Where it's at least semi sort of secure, like where we can watch it on camera. And then That's we can true. probably put it in the basement. Well, no, we just as long as it's on, on the lot. lot. Okay. All right, yeah, let's do let's do that. Good idea. I just would hate that somebody come kind of jack up their car. Especially since it does have red yeah. and blues. All right. What's that? Well, things change. You know, we try to do the reasonableness test here, but listen, man, there's just way too much. You're, you've got a code in there that doesn't belong to you. That's got deputy sheriff stuff on there. you got a loaded rifle. You're a traffic guy, man. That's all your detail's going to be. What active shooter situation are you going into? That you need to carry a loaded rifle and rifle yeah, blades. Listen, this all because we're trying to look cool, whatever. I get it. Well, you're completely in the wrong. That's all I can tell you. Go ahead and put your foot in there. Are you serious? Do you have a. You have your Our boss work? is headed here now if you need to talk to him. That'll work. I'll right. talk to him. <laughs> 
He says you're getting locked up next. <laughs> Please, I'm begging. Now he'll tell you right now. He hung up. He's like, Don't tell him to make no break no laws getting here. All right, I, I got enough he going will. on. Yeah, yeah. You need to mess he'll come in here sideways. Please, he'll cry. <laughs> that kind of it's it's already starting out to be a, a long day. Do I need to fill out a toast for it? Um, we probably is that one his? Oh yeah, uh, it had the red and white tag on. I got it. It's okay. okay. Um, <laughs> yes, we'll have to because we'll have to give the toast. Uh, company okay. one. Okay. So how far away is John? Did he, uh, did he tell you he was in a guard unit, Jeff? Did he tell you he was in a guard unit? He said a guard unit, right? That's what I said, yeah. So supposedly now, I wasn't speaking... Hey, before you do your, um... Before you do that, just... He's going to keep talking to us for each and every one of them. Obviously, we'll be able to hear the voice. Yep. You understand? Don't have to be verbatim. You just have to cover the key points. You don't have to have the cards. Yep. Uh -huh. something or whatever now spontaneous utterance is an utterance I'm sure you can explain that but you know that way if you got that burning question that comes right after he says it you're right so. okay Sidebar uh, investigating potential police officers because you don't think like what's the like I could see somebody pulling this like somewhere crazy but like in the middle of a municipality like well and that guy said he goes I he goes I was told it was Columbus he goes we'd have never done this all right he goes you know he goes I he goes trust me I I work for Cleveland I understand jurisdiction I understand that whole thing because I understand. You, know, you don't step on other. He goes up here. We work with all the departments around us and stuff. And I said, you know, that's not. I, I not blaming it all, all on you. you know, what I'm saying is, is that. Yeah. Dude, he's got. It, it got even. It kept his camera. He's yeah, got so, a loaded rifle and everything. Yeah. With the rifle plates, a fake badge, a jacket that says has deputy sheriff patches on it from Pickway. He got fired from there. Said he was commissioned with the Glenmont Village. Called them and they're like, never heard of it. And then he was like, well, I mean, it was supposed to be done this week. I, I was going off a of man's word. Like, you, know, just, you don't just get to be a police officer going off somebody's of word. Like, and he's been commissioned like three years. Yeah, old Christmas said he's going to hire me, so I've, yeah, I've pretty much got He's now. been commissioned at three other with places. The CCW? And it's like, huh? Charging with the CCW? What? Now, he had the improper, but I think we're just going to get yeah. improper. Yeah. I mean, because it's open carry, he's going to sip other than being in the car where you got the improper, but I think, I mean, it's up to him, but I mean, I think it's just impersonating the police officer. Definitely and, that. And then leave it up to Pickway County to charge him. It's not much Leave it up to Pickway County to charge him if they want for theft. I just heard, I drove by earlier, and I'm like, can you have red and blue lights? And I'm like, I don't think now, you can. Now, that's interesting. Yeah. Is that going to be... 
these guys. Could they do a felony theft? They one? they knew nothing. Well, we're we're honestly we're gonna have to probably get back into the station so I can start looking and reading some of these because these are gonna be like ones that yeah you gotta deal with. like well, the red and blue blitz. lights on this car is a violation. Who's this car registered to? The car belongs to the company, and the company is in Cleveland. And I talked to a supervisor at the company. And he actually works for them. He does. He says, I've never met him. He says, somebody else hired him. I, I know who you're talking about. And he goes, I, w I was told that he worked for a village so close to up here. He's just all over the place. And he goes, he goes, he goes, trust me, he goes, I would have never had somebody drive five hours, you know, back and forth. Because he pays him for that to you go clear down to Columbus to work a detail that we're not even supposed to be working. So yeah, so I think I gotta deal with this supervisor here real quick. How's it going? All right. Are you the guy I'm supposed to take to jail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they all said take you to jail. Yeah, all right. So real quick. Yeah. What's up with that dude? Uh, he is not a certified police officer in the state of Ohio anymore. Anyway. That's crazy. Uh, he is acting in the capacity. He had a fake badge, sheriff's badge. He had a loaded rifle. He's wearing a gun belt with a loaded gun. He's wearing a vest that says police officer. He has a car that has red and blue lights on it. Now, he works for a company that can do that up in Cleveland. So, he's going to jail. Uh, we're going to impound the car. So, you're kind of losing your thing, all right? We've had this issue once before with area-wide protection. Yeah. All right, stepping in to a jurisdiction because we work special duty. Yeah, right? that's what I called. They said they can't get no cops. They never even called us. Yeah, I, I I'm just done with area wide. Area wide, because um, I know the lady at AEP, and normally yeah. she calls Regina. us direct. Yeah, Regina. Yeah, she that's calls who me. I deal with, but Regina normally calls me or the other sergeant directly and says, "Hey, we're going to be working in your area. It's one of our contractors." I, I mean, we've done it for. A, Tons of yep. contractors for AEP. Well, see, my car, uh, my uh, contact AEP, who I was just with, uh, who who I go through, he said, hey, instead of going through Regina, he said, just call area wide and they're getting us cops. But I don't know if it's been this guy or not, you know what I mean? So yeah. usually that's who I go to is Regina. And, uh, She's the best one to go to because yeah. she knows all the jurisdictions. Yeah. She knows all of us. She knows yeah. all of us here in Franklin County. Yeah, because usually we get, that's why I said, told Brian, well, we had two cops cancel us yesterday the day before and I said call Whitehall. I said I see him driving around all the time so why not call Whitehall? Now the problem is are you guys done out here? Yeah yeah we'll be done out here. I'm gonna go uh, I'll have these guys go in and do some other stuff but we'll be done out there. Okay I mean if you need we can probably get you some stuff not like this short of notice yeah, but yeah, you know if you need fun. somebody next week or something. Yeah I finished this job up this morning when we okay. did this outage. Yeah that's crazy. Yeah. Um, and what I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up. Very troubling. So is he like an person named an officer? Yeah. He used to work for a sheriff's department, but they got rid of him. Yeah. yeah. And that's who he's got their stuff stuff. I mean, he was out there fucking yelling at cars. And, I mean, I thought he was like, but I seen his car this morning and it was like. Yeah. yeah. Now the car belongs to a company out of Cleveland. Yeah, it just still doesn't look like it's. No. This doesn't look like it's perfect. Well, you can't put, now, he could come, and, and so you guys know in the future, so, you know, so you're not saying like, oh, why'd these got put it? Like, you could have, he could have, he could have bought that car at an auction, and he could put all yellow lights on it, and sit behind you guys and work traffic, as a private citizen, all right? You can't have the blue and red, right? You can't have the blue and red. So is this company legal for having blue and red? They are, all right, and they know it. All right, but that's why they stay up in Cleveland. Why they sent somebody down here, I don't know. Because they can't do what the hit was. Why are they allowed to do Cleveland? Well, probably because they all work for Cleveland. Cleveland PD just ignores it. I'm not saying that, yeah. all right, but that could be it, all right? You know. Yeah, that's crazy. How'd you, how'd you guys know? Well, one of our officers went by and saw that and goes, that's not one of our cars. We don't even have cars anymore. Yeah. And he goes, so he stopped and talked to him. And he was asleep in the car. He was sitting behind your truck, asleep in the car. So he gets up and he talks to him. He says, he said, hey. And he had the gun on. Him. 
Is this dog getting overheated? Oh, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, they drove by, they talked to him, and they just went, eh, this doesn't seem right. So they came in, asked me, because I do all this stuff. I said, no, nobody contact us for a work with Preston on Broad Street. I said, well, you may want to go out there and check with it. So when I got out, he was talking to our, our street uh, superintendent wearing the badge and thing. I walk up there and I asked him direct and he just started giving me like he wouldn't answer. So I finally got down to the nitty gritty of like, okay, you're, you have a gun on you. I'm saying, you know, you, you need to be honest with me. He finally said, yeah, I'm, I don't want to here. And we have an officer that used to work for Pickway Sheriff's Office and we brought her over and she said, yeah, I know him. And I, she goes, I said, this him? She goes, yeah, he got fired. And I said, well, what's she doing? Uh, yeah, that's one of those fake. So he has a classic bag. That a little bit. Yeah. What <laughs> yeah. do I tell Carmen this? They called Brian and tell him, who the fuck is sitting out here? Yeah, so. All right. Well, we're uh, not going to hold you guys up any then yeah. and or anything like that. And as long as you guys are done and I don't have to worry about, you know. Because, Mike, I don't want to get you guys out there and get you hit. I mean, I can get you somebody to at least. Yeah, we're good. All we're right. done. Had to raise all that stuff up. Sounds Appreciate good. It, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right, he gave all the right answers, so you know he. Oh, were they? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's re <laughs> negotiate. <laughs> See you guys. See you now. Did the car overheat? Mine? Yeah, is that what it was? No, where he put that sensor in, it's a metal sensor and it sits close to that box. Anytime the, the box comes gets through, it instantly, and he's got it set real low. I need him to set it up higher to like 90 because it's set at like 75. Oh, yeah, so, that's going to kick on all the time. Yeah. So he's, it's. <laughs> the dog's probably in there going, hey, what me, what me? Frank is Frank, and I know he's got a lot going on, and he, he does a good job, but he is overwhelmed. Yeah. But, I mean, if you look in there, I was having trouble marking on my radio a while back. Well, it wasn't just my mic, it's the radio. So, Wednesday is the next availability he's got to try to fix it. So, I undid my mic because the mic had a little bit of an issue, but it's screwed down. So, he was like, oh, I don't have my Torx bits with me. I'll get with you. And I seen him a couple times he's like oh i still don't have it i'll get a hold of you and he didn't get a hold of me so i have the old mic still screwed down and it just hangs in my overflow with my with new, new mic. mic yeah no i didn't see there's some uh like charger stuff in the glove box that was it and then that this coat in the trunk with some caution caution tape. Yeah, I think it's just caution tape. No, it's actually police line tape in it. I mean, no, hold on. No, nope, caution. license plate that not the same one that's on this thing. Do we have Eastland now? Yeah, we have a bunch of caution tape. 55, the uh, tow truck's here. What is that, EOU? Yeah, EOU 9698. How you doing today, sir? Alrighty. Hey, this is going back to our station. It's going to your station? Yeah. Alright. Um, so, we'll just take it and we can park it. It doesn't have to be in the basement. Okay. We can just park it somewhere on. So, if you just drop it out back, we have a key. We can move it to where we need it. Okay. Alright? Because the company is going to come pick it up. Alright? So, we'll give you the thing with all their information. We'll give you a contact for the company and they can square them with you guys then on that. Okay. Um.
good pen broke, so I'm using a regular yeah, one now. <laughs> if I had to pay for them, who knows what I'd have. Yeah. That's why I like the police department. I can just go get them out of the cabinet. I've got about 9,000 of them sitting in my nightstand. I grab one I use every day, came to work, click it, and then just try to mark them like, great. That's what kind of day it's going to be. Uh, I said, if you want to... If you want to move it out where you can get into it either, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, if I can get a face of this way, that'd be great. All right. somebody from that company is picking it up? Um, yeah, he'll just need his copy. And then I'll call the company and they can square up with uh, Eastland. You can go back. I'll wait till he picks up, and I'll. Yeah, cause I'll call. I'm gonna call them. Um, I'm gonna call them anyway. Are the keys still in it? Yeah, they're on the seat. There's a, he's not a certified police officer. Wait a minute, this is a real wheel drive, isn't it? Uh, yeah, should be. That's all this third dollar is instead of talking around again. I'll just talk about that. Whatever's easy. None of it's easy. Easy would be home and throwing a beer. Yeah, especially on a day like today. Oh, yeah. But tonight I can't even do that when I get off because I'm on call tonight. Oh, you get the same thing we get. Yeah. We usually only do Sunday nights, but one of our guys uh, just had a kid last night with his kid this morning. He asked me to come for him so he could spend a couple of days with him. So 